Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and My Old Barn Door, and I just came to show you a couple of books real quick that are going to be available in my Etsy shop. Um, they are holiday journals. So when I say holiday, I mean it includes the whole holiday season. So it's good for November, for Thanksgiving, excuse my fingers, I have ink all over them because I've been playing with this. Um, but November and then December, Christmas, it includes all of that. I thought it would be cool to do a couple of books. I actually have three. The other one's not finished, but I will have it finished. So when I do the listing, I'm going to say three. So you can order one if you want it. Um, but anyways, um, so I thought it would be cool to do a book that included all of the holidays together. So you could have it all in one book. And if you want to do like your November daily and your December daily, you can do it all in this one book. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through for you. These are huge books. Um, there's 120 pages in each book. So that gives you plenty um, of room for both, <laughs> both seasons. So you can do it how you want to. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go. Uh, go in and do the flip through real quick so that I can show you. Um, they measure, it is nine by seven and three quarters approximately. Um, and then it has, I think, a little less than a three inch spine. Okay, so this is the front of this one. I just tried to make it to where it didn't look all Christmassy. I wanted to include fall in it as well. So I did um, some colors that would incorporate that. And then you have the um, fabric on the spine. Excuse the threads. <laughs> and then on the back, I just did kind of a collage so that you can do whatever you want to with it. I usually try to leave the backs plain so it doesn't have anything to um, get in your way when you're journaling. So, and I just have it closed with seam binding. It's got the eyelets in both sides, uh, and then it's just got the seam binding tied through it. So let's just do flip through, and we'll get started. In the front, you have a pocket here, and then you have um, just uh, some extra uh, paper that you can use in the book, or you can journal on it, or put pictures on it. And then a pretty little tag um, with eyelash trim topping it with the fall colors. So in the beginning of the book, you're going to see the fall and um, Thanksgiving theme, so to speak. Um, in these books, I also put some of my gratitude journal stuff so that you can do a gratitude journal in November if you want to. So I try to incorporate that. You can do, uh, you have enough pages to do a gratitude journal and to do your November daily plus the December daily so on the front here you have a pretty little squirrel card it's a vintage po a vintage card so I'm just gonna flip through there's a lot of sewing in the journal here's one of the gratitude pages and I made it so that it would flip out so that it gives you plenty of room to journal on this is uh, a page from my Jerry and Alice book Cute little tag here. So I'm just going to try and flip so that we can get through the whole thing and do the other one as well on the same video. Lots of flip outs. So the hundred, uh, the 120 pages doesn't include all of the flip outs and the extra little things that are inside. It's just pages. Okay, here you have a fabric pocket and then there's a vintage playing card. A little mason jar cut out and then this is a what they call a Hermelinda tag these are photo sleeves you can put photos in there you can put um, designer paper in there and use them as photo mats or what have you but I just thought I would include some of these in there so you can put pictures throughout your holiday season this is a recipe from a, um, I forget the name of the book, but they have the cutest illustrations in this book. So I wanted to add some pages from that. These are some journal cards I made um, on my Photoshop program. And this is, of course, Eat It, Hold It. 
extra journaling. These are not included in the page count either. More sewing. Here's some more of the gratitude pages. This is that other book that looks like Edith Holden, but it was another lady's name. I can't remember her name, uh, but it was a newer version. Here's a, just a little tag that I made with um, a napkin. So it's just got a napkin mod podge on there. And then this one flips open. And then you have a pocket here with just a little cluster on it and a button. And then in the pocket I have just some extra journaling paper. And then a tag that I made. This is with a napkin as well. That one I think is Mod Podge 2. And then another one of those little journaling cards that I made on my program. Flash card. You have pages that are lined to give you plenty of room for um, journaling. And then, of course, you know, I have to put in my children's book pages. And y'all, this is from that child craft book that I love so much. And I'm telling you, I'm trying to hoard it, but then I'm trying not to hoard it. So, <laughs> but this is autumn dusk. So I thought it went cool with, in the crescent moon. So I thought it went cool with the autumn season. This is um, some of... Uh, some more from the gratitude pages. This is one of the scriptures. This is um, the, one of the original book pages that was in this book. Um, it was uh, some kind of a plant book, but I thought it was cool to add some that have the fall colors. So I just added a couple of them. On this one, you have a little pocket. I made this one uh, on my program and then this I made with the napkin mod podge on and then a pretty little tag with a button and some eyelash trim this trim is in my shop if you guys are interested and this is some of my um, canvas core paper so it's in the shop as well if uh, if you want some of that lots of flip out pages index card this is from the gratitude journal this is one of the scripture pages and then this is from an, a newer child craft magazine or a book but I loved it because it has the pumpkin in it and I thought that went cute with the season so another photo sleeve this is some of my canvas core paper it's in the shop if you don't see it in the shop send me a message and I can get it for you. This is from a, a My Book book House book. And then on the back I made a little pocket. And there's a little pocket down here with a little tag and some tickets. And then another one of those tags I made from the napkin. There's another one from the napkin. But they're all, and on some of them, on the back of some of them I did some stenciling. Just to make it a little prettier. That one's got um, the craft card on the back of it and then this one this is from um, my canvas core paper as well this canvas core seven gypsies paper um, it's in the shop as well okay this is a, a vintage playing card you can see how old it looks and this is one of the workbook pages you know, I love using the children's workbook pages, and I thought it was cool to have it in here with the orange. Here's another page that was from the original book, but I thought the um, purples were really pretty to go for the fall season. Another photo sleeve. And then this one flips out, and it has a pocket here, a side pocket, with just um, an index card and a couple of journaling cards. Um, Seven Gypsies Canvas Core. This is from a really cool um, book, children's book. And then one of my paper ribbons. Some A little piece of a calendar page with some scripture on it. Here's one of those old recipe cards. This is one of the gratitude pages for the gratitude journaling. This is from a children's book. I love, 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 love the colors in this. I just thought they went perfect for a fall book. Some more Seven Gypsies. 
This is Seven Gypsies. You got a scripture card on a pretty paper clip. And I did put, um, you know, page tabs throughout the book as well. This is from, um, this is Seven Gypsies paper as well, or canvas core. And I just made a little mason jar and just tucked it under the, the paper clip there. This is another one of those photo things, a photo sleeve. And I put you some extra of my paper ribbons in there to play with in your journal. Some more from the gratitude journal. And it folds out. This is a top pocket. And then this pulls out and it's uh, um, got like a belly band sewn on there. This is from my um, Seven Gypsies canvas core paper. Another Mod Podge napkin tag. Um, and then I made this on my Photoshop program. Well, if I can get it back in there, we'll be doing good. This is just from an old book, a really, really old book. It's very yellowed. And then this, y'all, look, check this out. This is so cool. My friend Eve from Switzerland, she sent me all these really cool pages that are in German. How cool is that? This is very vintage, and I wish you could feel this paper. So whoever gets this journal, you'll be able to feel it. It's really awesome. So I tucked that into there. Seven Gypsies Canvas Core. These are some swatches that I got from Selena, and I thought it was just super cute to, to just put them in there um, on a safety pin so you can have some fabric to play with in your journal. Actually, in this journal, you pretty much can journal on the go with it because it's got lots of stuff stuffed in here for you. This is some Seven Gypsies Canvas Core paper. This is a little envelope, and it just flips down. It's washed in. If you open it up, it has a little, little tiny journal book in here with just some scrap um, papers that I had so I just made a little little tiny journal out of it and then you have the um, banners up at the top this is seven gypsies canvas core another photo sleeve this is from a children's book um, I y'all have seen these books that's called the seasons book um, and I've gotten a bunch of them because I just absolutely love the pages. It talks about the harvest moon. And then here's your Thanksgiving page. How cool is that? And then it's got fall over here. So this is some more of that canvas core seven gypsies paper. This is some lined paper and it has some scriptures on the bottom. And then we start into the Christmas part. Okay. So, you have a little tag here. I got this from Seven Gypsies. It's um, <laughs> naughty and nice. It's super cute. This is from a children's book about Jesus um, and the birth of Jesus. So, I thought that was really cool to add that in there. More sewing, more page tabs. And then this flips open for extra journaling. And it's also a pocket. So, I just put you some, some extra little paper up here so you can know that it's a pocket. This is from that same Seasons book, and it talks about winter, and then you have the Christmas fold out. It talks about the days getting shorter, and that's for sure. This is some more from that little Birth of Jesus book. Here is a glassing envelope, and I just um, stapled a little band across to hold the envelope closed, and inside you have one of these cute little tags that I made on my Photoshop program and then stitched it onto some coffee dyed paper. Okay, it's not normally that hard to get in there. I'm just going crooked at it. <laughs> okay, this is from a child craft book and you open it up and it's a visit from St. Nicholas. Both of these pages are child craft. Then you have a photo sleeve, and in these photo sleeves in the Christmas ones, I had so many Christmas snippets and, and scraps that I loaded every one of these photo sleeves up with lots and lots of scraps for you to play with in your book. This is from the original book, um, and it's uh, snowflake flowers, so I thought that was cool to put in there. And then this flips open, 
but if you fold it this way, you have a full, a fussy cut Santa out of a, um, a scrapbooking page. Christmas playing card, and a page tab, and sewing, and then on the back side, this is really cool too. Um, this is another one of those pages that I got from my friend Eve. And it is in German. So super, super cool. I'm thinking this is some kind of a poem. Um, just because the way it's laid out. So I just thought that was neat to add that in there. I'm sharing some of my German stuff with y'all. I said I wasn't going to, but I can't help it. <laughs> this is an old children's um, music book. And he cute. And then on the back side... It flips open and I put a little pocket here we have an extra little journaling book here for grocery lists or to-do lists or whatever whatever you want to do this is um, some more of the canvas core seven gypsies paper and then I put you a little bag in here and I absolutely stuffed it with a little ribbon and fabric scraps just little scraps for you to play with in your book so I just thought that would be neat to have that with your book so you can take it along with you and then of course the back of that um, children's Christmas music page so I'm gonna get all of this stuff back in the pocket here this is a children's playing card game Edith Holden and I left this blank so you can do mixed media on it if you want to but it does have a paper ribbon up there this is just a die cut like snowflake shape uh, another photo sleeve and it's got a little journaling card in there and a little extra piece in there love 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 the trucks I love the trucks <laughs> so got a little extra piece here it folds open for extra journaling I love 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 these Santas and then in here you have um, some extra pieces for journaling or decorating and then you have a little journal card another little extra piece and then this sweet little journaling card too this is from a really old children's um, music book um, with Christmas music and I just loved the border on each page this border is on each page of this book so super cute here's another one of those floral book pages and I tried to pick florals or flowers that looked Christmassy and then in this is a belly band and you have a little Merry Christmas tag this is some more of those German pieces that my friend sent me it's a postcard it's a vintage postcard it's very old Printed in France, but I don't see a date. And then here's some more of those Seven Gypsies canvas core paper with the eyelash trim at the top. And then this is really cool. It's a vintage German dictionary page. So all of that just tucks into this cute little belly band. I love, love, love the little peppermint candies. This is just a page for journaling, another one of those playing cards, and this came out of one of those big Christmas books that I have. Love, love, love the colors in it, so I had to add that in. This is some more from that, um, from the German stuff that she sent me. Another photo sleeve with lots of little scraps in there to play with, and I put you some fabric scraps too in here. This is another page from the My Book House book. This is from Seven Gypsies, a cute little um, Christmas tag. Some more pages from that book about Jesus' birth. And then tucked in here is just another one of those journaling cards from uh, my Seven Gypsies canvas core paper. And this is the Seven Gypsies canvas core paper as well with a tab and a tab here. Flip it over, it has lots of sewing. And then this actually flips up for hidden journaling. And then I just put you an extra piece there for extra journaling. Or you can cut it up and use it to decorate in the book. This is from a really cute little children's book. Um, 
I think it's called The Last Elf or something like that. Some more lined pages. Christmas playing card. And then this is an envelope. And it has another one of those little notebooks in it. For extra journaling or to-do lists or pictures. You can do whatever you want to do in it. So... And then there's my favorite. I have just loved, loved, loved this Christmas card. And it just had to go in here. And I thought it was cute that he was working on his list. And then this is the next page behind it. So I left it intact. So you could actually use it if you wanted to. And then here is uh, another one of those tags from Seven Gypsies. So if you guys want some of these tags, let me know and I can order some for you. Love, love, love this with the two Santa Claus. Some more, uh, another photo sleeve with some more scraps for you. This is a page out of my treasured child craft book. I just absolutely love, love, love the illustrations in these books and the feel of these pages are just, oh, heaven. Some more of the Canvas Course Seven Gypsies paper. Of course, one of the original book pages, and this is the Christmas cactus, and how could I not put that in here? <laughs> Just have a belly band here, and this is some more of that, those pieces from Eve in German. Love, love, love this old postcard. I can't, I don't think I can make out the date. But it's really old. This is August 3rd, 1900. So this is a very, very old card. And then you have this cute, cute little book about Christ being born. And it's got some cute little stories in it. But you could even cut these up and use the pages or the graphics. Or however you want to do it. But I just thought this was the cutest little book. So I had to add that in there. And then I just have it paper clipped to make sure they don't slide out. Which I don't think they will, but you never know. Another page tab. This is Seven Gypsies Canvas Core. Cute little journaling card. This is, it was a Christmas card, but I cut it apart because it has a place for you to be able to put a picture in. So I just put this little journaling card in there to show you that you can put something down in there. And you can actually use that for a photo mat if you want to. Some more lined paper. Christmas playing card. Here's some more of that really pretty children's Christmas music. And there's another one of those cute little tags. Another photo sleeve with scraps to play with. And I love, love, love this page. Love that picture. And then it folds out, and I put you some vintage Christmas wrapping paper in there. And these are just little faces, um, and it's got stickers that you make the, the faces. They're blank faces, so I just thought that was cute and whimsical to put in here. And then at the very end, you have, um, this was actually in that book about Christ being born. It was the baby Jesus. And so it was the back page. So I just went ahead and put the whole back page um, on here. And it's even got the library card still in it and this little card still in it. And so I just mod podged a little bit of poinsettia napkin on that just to dress it up a little bit. So that is that book. I'm telling y'all, these books are stuffed. And I just think it's so cool to be able to put two months in one you know you have so much going on in the holiday season that's the top of the book so it's really cool to be able to to do two books in one okay here's the next one it's very similar to that one um, but I just kind of wanted to show you the front on the front I roughed up the edges of all of the layers there's layer layer layers um, I just kind of layered it up and built up to the center uh, the center says believe it's got this cute little flower here and in the tie it's just tied with um, grow grain ribbon and it's got this cute little key tied to it and I love 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 this vintage e trim that I got from uh, one of my sweet friends sent it to me as a gift and the spine is burlap brown burlap 
and then on the back is I did kind of like I did the other one just kind of plain for you to do whatever you want to with it okay so we're just gonna go inside this one and do a quick flip because we're already at 25 minutes so I'm gonna try try not to talk a whole lot and just flip <laughs> y'all know me I'm sorry I can't help it all right the front one uh, in the front page is a pocket and then I just got you a little shopping list, extra journaling card, and then a couple of cool little cooking um, hints and tips cards in there. That's going to give me a hard time because I'm on camera. I have my little patch here. And then, of course, we start back with the fall, autumn, November, whatever you want to call it. So you have canvas core here. This one flips open. This one has lots of sewing, too on the edges. This is a full pocket with one of my paper ribbons and a little rosette. And inside, you have another one of those little cards I made. This is some of that canvas core paper. I just love this paper. And I just kind of made like a little folded out book. You can use it for journaling or, or photo mat or whatever. This is another one of those German. This is an old, old, old German book page. And then this is just an extra little scrap that I had that didn't print out the way I wanted it to. But I thought it was super cute to add into a fall journal. Okay. I'm just going to get all this stuff back down in here. I don't want to crinkle my page. Photo sleeve with um, paper ribbons. This is from that same seasons book. This one's about the autumn and the farmer. This is a my book house page and I just put a pocket on the front with a little cluster. Got a cute little journaling card here. Uh, and, and then a couple more of those really, really old, old German book. But look how pretty that print is. And look how yellowed that book page is. And then this one I thought was really cool. It's from some kind of a factory or something. Because you have the factory workers. But you can tell how old it is. Because look at how they're dressed. So even though it's in German, you can still figure some things out maybe. <laughs> okay. S same here with the page tabs throughout the book. This is a My Book House page. Original page from the book. And this one is the Earth Star, but aren't those colors just perfect with this? I love, love, love this paper. And then this one flips out. And it has a fabric pocket here from an old vintage linen. And then inside I just stuffed some extra um, journaling page or paper. A little um, index card. And then this is another one of those. Um, tags that I made with the napkins and it's just got seam, uh, pretty red seam binding on the top. Here is a vintage Racco card. Here is some of the gratitude journal pages. This is one of the scripture pages. And I folded them like this so you could journal privately on one side if you wanted to. Here's another, uh, this is the, the gratitude page. And it folds out. So like I say, it's very similar to the other one. So I'm just going to start flipping kind of quickly so the video doesn't take forever. This is an uh, envelope that I coffee dyed. And I had to cut it down because it was too long for this. So I just sewed the edge with some fabric. And then I just put you some extra paper in there just to kind of show you that it's a pocket. photo sleeve. Love, love, love. I've hoarded this paper. <laughs> okay, this is a full page pocket. And then I put you some vintage wrapping paper in here. Super pretty to go with the fall colors. So I just got a couple of pieces of that in there. A coffee dot index card. And then another one of these cute little cards that I made on my Photoshop program. I may offer those if y'all want them. I may put them up on my Etsy shop if you want me to. So let me know if you would like for me to do that. Leave it in the comments below. Here's one of the gratitude journal pages and one of the scripture pages. 
Another one of those cards I made on my program. This is from um, one of my Mother Goose books, and I just thought she was cool. She's in the kitchen. Looks like Thanksgiving to me. You know, she's cooking, so I added her in. And y'all know me. I love my children's rhyme books, too, so this is one of those really cool um, dictionary, like my first dictionary pages or whatever. Cool little flashcard. It's got some of my trim. This trim is in my shop. If you're interested, it's such a soft trim. Another one of those floral pages. Another page type there. Love, love, love this paper. This is some from the, this is a scripture from the Gratitude Journal pages. And then you have one of my paper ribbons. This one flips open. And you have a belly band inside. And I had this really cool glitter paper. So you can use that in the book or you can journal in it. Um, but I just thought I'd add a few pieces of that in. And then I made this on my Photoshop program too. It's a little journaling card. I just thought the little scarecrow was super cute. And then it's got ribbon um, sewn to the back side. Another photo sleeve. This is from that fall um, book about the chipmunk. I think I said squirrel earlier, but it's not a squirrel. It's a chipmunk. <laughs> Gratitude page. This is Seven Gypsies Canvas Core Paper. Oops, I missed some. In this little pocket is another one of those cards that I made on Photoshop. A guest check. And this is Canvas Core Seven Gypsies Paper. And this is some more of the Gratitude Journal pages. This is one of the scripture pages. Cute little tag here. Lined paper. Workbook paper. And I sewed a vintage flashcard on the edge of that. I just love that. So in here, this flips open. And I just tucked another one of my little um, tags that I made um, with napkin. Put that in there. Another one of the original book pages. Some more gratitude journal pages. This is one of the scripture pages. Children's flashcard or learning card. Line page with scripture. And this is from the gratitude journal, but it's just a lined page one. Photo sleeve. Paper ribbon, and this one folds out more scriptures from the gratitude journal and if you guys want me to add more gratitude journal pages to it uh if you you know if you get it and you want more of the gratitude journal pages just let me know i'll be glad to send them this is a bag that i sewed a little pocket on the bottom put you a few little tags here some extra paper and some scraps in there for you to play with in your journal this is from a super cute little old old book talking about going to their grandparents house for the holidays and having dinner with them so I thought that was cool I love how yellowed the pages are some more of the gratitude journal page and then starts the Christmas part this is um, the very beginning of that the baby Jesus book it's I believe it was a Rand McNally book this is super cute. Um, it's 25 days till Christmas, so you have all these little extra pages to journal in, make notes, lists, or whatever. And then this is the countdown, so it counts down all the way to December 1st. So it was, um, it's on a pretty thick cardboard, and it had a magnet on the back, but I took the magnet off, and I added, um, this is vintage wallpaper. This is from a, um, a little sewing Christmas book um, that I had, so it just folds out. Photo sleeve with scraps. Sewing, page tabs. This is an envelope, and in here I put you some extra um, paper ribbons, and then there's a pocket in the back. There's a cute little bag, and it has some uh, Christmas vintage Christmas wrapping paper in there. Photo sleeve with scraps. Seven Gypsies canvas core. Full book page. Lined book page with scripture. The baby Jesus. Here's that littlest elf book. It's so stinking cute. Children's playing card. 
This is uh, Seven Gypsies Canvas Core Paper with a paper ribbon. And I put this in here. Um, you can tear this out and you can add it to any page that you want. You just glue it in. But I thought that was cute. Added a paper ribbon here. This is um, some more of that book page from going to visit Grandma and Grandpa. Some more of the Baby Jesus book pages. This is uh, another original page from the book. This is a cute little envelope and it's just got some scraps in there for you to play with. Children's playing card, lined paper with the paper ribbon, photo sleeve with scraps, paper ribbon there. I just made a little pocket with this and put a little journaling card in there. Photo sleeve with paper ribbon scraps. Some more of my treasured child craft book. And y'all, I couldn't cut it. So if you want to cut it, you go right ahead. But I just couldn't do it. <laughs> love, love, love these Santas. Seven Gypsies canvas core paper. Love the cars. And then this is some of the Seven Gypsies canvas core paper. And then I just stayed, or attached you a cute little shopping list on there. This is from a child craft book. The newer version. And then this is one of those photo sleeves. So I just put a little piece of paper in there to show you can put something in there. Baby Jesus book. Love, love, love this paper. And then this one folds out. It has a paper ribbon here. Cute little pocket. And in the pocket you have just some extra of the paper. This is Seven Gypsies canvas paper that I just used to make a little tag. Got a little journaling card here. I do not open until December 25th tag here. And then this is a cute, cute, cute little envelope. And I think this was supposed to be in it. But it's just one of those little Seven Gypsies tags. So that just goes right down in there. Another paper ribbon, lined page with scripture on it, journaling card, the last elf. Merry Christmas, everybody! Some more from the Jesus book, and then uh, Seven Gypsies canvas core paper with a cute little pocket on the other side. And it is stuffed, it has a journaling card. This is embossed, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's an embossed tag. Another little tag from my Seven Gypsies paper. And then that's really, really pretty, old and vintage-y looking. So we'll just stuff all of this back down in this pocket if we can. Oh goodness, there we go, okay. This is some more of that um, children's dictionary with the paper ribbon. Another photo sleeve. Oops, that one came out. That's okay. Um, with some scraps, lined journaling paper, and this is from a child craft book. I just think his face is so cute. And then in the back, I made you a library pocket. <laughs> that little extra little piece here with the cars because I love the cars and then behind here is also a little tag and I just put that there to basically show you that you can put something in it. So that is the two books. These will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, as soon as you see this video you should be able to go over to my Etsy shop and check them out and don't forget I'm still running my sale in my Etsy shop. Um, I have 20% off of any $45 order, so that means these books, you will get the 20% off as well, because it's shop-wide the 20% off discount is, so cool little sale, it will help you with your Christmas books, and be looking for more Christmas books, because I am working my fingers to the bones, <laughs> making Christmas journals, so these are the two Christmas books, or not Christmas books, these are the two holiday books, I call them. They will be listed as holiday books. So, they're ring binder books. 
Uh, again, 120 pages. Uh, 60 pages are November, Thanksgiving, fall, autumn themed, and 60 of them are Christmas themed. So, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below. Um, if you need to contact me, um, I'll leave my email below as well. And um, hit like, hit subscribe, and you guys have an amazing night. Thank you for watching. Big hugs.